Hi, it's Dwyer. It's May the 13th, 2020. Keeping it free.blogspot.com, a financial blog I run here online. It's free. Also, uh, gamblersadvisory.com, a sports advisory uh, blog that I run here online. It's also free. Let's just talk about what I'm doing. Please do not consider this to be financial advice. You want to consult with your own financial advisor. Uh, before making your financial decisions. I'm just sharing with you what interests me this morning. There's an excellent piece, and again, today is May the 13th. There's an excellent piece on ZeroHedge.com. It's an interview with one of history's better investors, Stanley Druckenmiller, the former chief investment officer for George Soros. And in the piece, Stanley expresses his admiration of Amazon. This is in a piece where Stanley is very critical of the current world economy. But yet, he takes the time to point to Amazon as an example of a company that's doing it the right way, that's making a lot of money. Right, this follows yesterday's comments by billionaire Chamath Palihapitiya, where he talked about how he believed, in his opinion, that Jeff Bezos was a better investor than Warren Buffett. Now this morning, Amazon is selling for more than $2,300 on the NASDAQ. The point of this video is just to remind investors that if you're interested in Amazon, but don't have $2,300 lying around to invest in the company, that there are credible outfits out there. Square Cash App is one, now Robinhood, which now allows trading of fractional shares. There are credible outfits out there that will allow you to buy, at your discretion, a portion of a share of Amazon. So if you have $50 or $100 you can actually participate in equity ownership of Amazon, a company that Stanley Druckenmiller and Chamath Palihapitiya both admire, right? Again, both Square Cash app and now the Robinhood app allow the fractional ownership of shares. Let me point out too that there are other companies with very rich share prices, Google comes to mind, or rather Alphabet, right? Very rich share prices. Well, now retail investors who don't have the money to buy one whole share can still participate in the equity upside by buying a partial share. But understand, again, I'm just telling you what I'm doing. I understand that stock ownership does carry great risks. And that just like you can make money, you can also lose money by owning these shares, right? Give Square Cash App a look. I hope you also give Robinhood.com a look. Again, both allow you to participate in fractional ownership of great companies like Amazon. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.